So when you use Screencastify for the first time, you're going to uh, install it, and then when you get up here, you're going to click on this little icon, and give it just a second to load, and it's going to prompt you to set it up. So you want to go ahead and just kind of click through this process. It gives it permission to access the camera and the microphone. It really only needs the microphone. It's not going to use the camera unless you uh, ask it to. Hit Allow. And you want to leave this saved just like it is, Google Drive. What it's going to do is every time you do a video, it's going to upload it directly to your drive and not save it on the Chromebook. This is beneficial because the Chromebook has very small, a very small amount of storage, um, and that way you can access that video um, from any device that you log into, any Google device. So leave that checked. Hit Next. It's going to prompt you to sign in so it knows uh, where to put the file into your account. And you can set up tab recording, so you have that option. It's going to give you a getting started video, which welcome to watch if you so choose. So now we're ready to record. So when I click up here, it's going to take a moment to load them again. And I'm going to go ahead and record the entire desktop. So the entire desktop means it's going to record this bar down here as well as anything I have going on up here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave out all checks. I want to have my the microphone turned on and system audio. So I'm going to hit record. And I would do this if I wanted the webcam showing, but I don't. So it's going to give me a couple options. Um, I'm going to want to click on internal display that lets me have the full screen as well as the uh, audio. Hit share. Three. Now it starts giving you a countdown. You may have heard it say three and then it stopped. So this you're going to see normally. And this is just letting you know that it is recording. And you can actually close that if you don't want that to be shown the entire time you're uh, recording your screen. Um, and then you can stop it again up here when you're ready. However, here's the problem. It's saying we have critically low disk space. So the problem there is that it's detecting that the Chromebook has less than a gigabyte of space left, and it's always going to have less than a gigabyte. It's just a limitation of the Chromebook. So it's not going to ever let you record a video as set. So I'm going to hit, I'm going to close this and close this. So it's not recording right now. I'm going to click on this again, and like I said, it's automatically paused. I'm going to click right here, and then I'm going to go to Options. So I click on this, went to Options. It's going to open up a tab with the options that are specific for Screencastify. And so here, I want to definitely leave that as Google Drive. We'll see that in a moment. And I'm going to scroll down until you see Automation. And there's three options here. I'm going to leave the first one alone, but when it says Pause on Low Disk Space, it is on Auto Pause no matter what we do on a Chromebook. On a desktop computer, it'll probably be just fine. But it's always going to auto-pause, so I want to uncheck that. That's going to allow it to record normally when um, you want to start, even with the limited uh, storage space on Chromebooks. So once you do that, there's nothing to save. I'm just going to hit close that out. So I'm going to come back here, and I should be good to go for recording. So I'm going to go ahead and hit resume. Okay, and then I would go through and do whatever kind of tutorial I may want to do. Okay, so let's say I'm finished. I can come back over here, click on that little icon, and hit end recording. So it's going to auto, and you'll see this pops up, it tells you saving onto drive. That's going to happen automatically. You don't have to do anything. And it's going to auto playback the recording that you just did. So you see my cursor kind of moving around. Um, and it tells you it's uploaded to Google Drive. So if you want to see where that is, you can click on it. It'll tell you. But it's basically, uh, if you just go to your uh, your drive, my drive, and then it's going to be a Screencastify folder. And you'll find it stored in there. And you can share that just like any video file. You can upload it to YouTube. Um, and use. you can link to it any, any way you want to do.